Hello everyone, welcome to my video on Zadar. In this video, I will suggest some of the best places to visit in and around Zadar. We will explore the city's old town, visit stunning national parks, and discover some of the hidden gems of the surrounding islands. So, let's get started. On day 1, I highly recommend exploring the beautiful city of Zadar, its old town, and some of its historic landmarks. Take a stroll through the narrow streets of the old town and visit some of its ancient churches and museums. Zadar's old town is a true gem of Croatia, brimming with beauty and history. It is a place that takes visitors back in time, allowing them to experience the rich cultural and architectural heritage of the city. In the evening, don't miss the chance to experience the unique sounds of the sea organ, an incredible art installation that uses the waves of the sea to create beautiful music. I suggest spending sunset time at the sea organ for an unforgettable experience. On day 2, I suggest that you take a day trip to Krakow National Park, which is located about an hour's drive from Zadar. The Kaka River is the main attraction of Kaka National Park and is famous for its stunning waterfalls and diverse ecosystem. The river is home to a variety of fish species, some of which are endemic to the area. Some of the most common fish species found in the Kaka River include the Dalmatian barbel, the Adriatic spirlin, and the European eel. The river's ecosystem is carefully protected by the national park, and fishing is strictly regulated in order to preserve the delicate balance of the environment. Krakow National Park is famous for its beautiful waterfalls and crystal clear lakes. Take a dip in the refreshing water, or take a hike along the park's many trails. Don't forget to bring your camera, as the views are truly breathtaking. On day 3, I highly recommend taking a boat tour to some of the nearby islands. Zadar is surrounded by dozens of small islands, each with its own unique character and charm. I suggest visiting any nearby island by boat tour, such as Baja and Pasman, both of which offer stunning beaches and crystal clear water. Relax on the beach, enjoy a swim, or take a walk around the island to explore its hidden corners. On day 4, I highly recommend taking a trip to Dungi or Tok Island, which is located just off the coast of Zadar. This stunning island has plenty to offer, from historic lighthouses to pristine beaches. Start your day by visiting the Wailerit Lighthouse, which is the tallest lighthouse in the Adriatic and offers breathtaking views of the sea and surrounding islands. From there, head over to the sunken ship S. Michel, a popular diving spot where you can explore the wreckage of a World War II era vessel. Next, make your way to Shokorun Beach, which is known for its crystal clear water and soft, white sand. It's the perfect place to relax, swim, and soak up the sun. After spending some time at the beach, make your way to the secluded Wailizal Beach, which is only accessible by boat. This hidden gem is a must-see for anyone visiting Dungi or Tok Island, with its crystal clear water and peaceful atmosphere. It's the perfect place to unwind and enjoy the natural beauty of the island. Finally, end your day by watching the sunset at the Wairi Rat Lighthouse, where you can enjoy panoramic views of the Adriatic Sea and the surrounding islands. It's a perfect end to a perfect day on Dungi or Tok Island. On day 5, I highly recommend taking a trip to the historic village of Ni. This picturesque town is located just a short 20-minute drive from Zada and offers a glimpse into Croatia's rich cultural heritage. Take a stroll through the winding streets of the old town and admire the charming medieval architecture. After exploring the village, head to the nearby Queen's Beach. This stunning beach is known for its crystal clear water, soft sand, and beautiful views of the surrounding islands. Relax under the shade of a parasol, take a dip in the refreshing water, or enjoy some water sports. 
this is the perfect place to unwind and soak up the sun on your final day in Zadar. And that concludes our 5-day itinerary for Zadar. I hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour and found it helpful in planning your own trip to this beautiful city. Zadar truly has something for everyone, from history and culture to natural beauty and relaxation. So what are you waiting for? Start planning your trip to Zadar today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.